Good evening everyone. Welcome to this free webinar, Learn Everything You Need to Know About Starting a Virtual Assistant Career. I want to thank you so much and congratulate you at the same time for making this time to attend our free training session. And I know that we have a very diversified audience right now. This is going to be a pre-recorded video and after the entire training, we are going to have our online question and, our, uh, question and answer portion. So who is this webinar for? Um, these are actually for the working moms, for soon-to-be moms, for work hustlers, so pwede rin to sa mga daddy, those who want to earn additional income for their family. Of course, for the business owners, before they can even hire an effective VA, they should know kung ano ang pinapasok nila. Professionals, if they are planning to switch careers in the future. Uh, managers um, who wants to you know elevate and improve uh, more of their skills and knowledge and of course for the entrepreneurs so let's begin um, this session so since um, we actually have um, audiences here na hindi ako personal nakakilala no which is half percent of our attendees well I, I'm really um, Grateful to those whom I know, my former colleagues, office mates, um, classmates, and friends na nag attend ng webinar. Um, it's nice to see familiar names and faces. So, para sa mga hindi po nakakakilala sa akin, sino ba ako? No? So, who is Rose Ann Haim and why should you listen to me? Okay, so I'm actually um, working right now as an executive in general virtual assistant for six Australian clients. So I'm actually partnering with an agency right now. Um, at the same time, I'm also working as an entrepreneur. So I'm the president and CEO of um, a realty. It's a, uh, it's a startup company named Home Angel Real Estate Brokerage Company. So we sell um, houses sa business na yon. And then I'm also a housewife. Uh, I don't have kids as of yet. And I'm also a public speaker. So it, this is one of the newest um, career path that I'm taking. And uh, my background is more of customer service. No? So I worked in the BPO industry for almost eight years. So I believe some of um, the audiences that we have here are my former office mates. Hello sa inyong lahat. Um, I'm also a former real estate salesperson employee. So before I put up my own company, I worked as a sales associate for Lamudi and Property Pro. No? And um, I also worked as a Sun Life financial advisor. So more on the freelancing industry. So. Yon. So, yun ang aking background. So, if you'll notice, more on customer service, client relations, and sales. Yun ang aking background before I actually ventured into the VA industry. So, um, okay. I just want to share with you my VA career journey. So, um, mabilis lang na kwento to, no? Um, it was 2016 when I started attending virtual careers training seminar. So it was a paid seminar conducted by Jomar Hilario. Um, yung iba siguro sa inyo narinig na yung ninya o dun sa hindi pa mga nakakarinig or this is the first time that you heard about him. He's the social media guru, no? freelancer guru dito sa Philippines. Philippines. Part siya ng Truly Rich Club, yung grupo ni Bo Sanchez. And uh, my husband was the one who actually introduced me to this kind of industry. So, sinama niya ako. I was working um, as an OMOIC at that time. No? Sinama niya ako dun because, again, we actually were planning to transition to virtual careers nga, no? yung work from home. So, I was introduced and we attended paid seminars. So, doon sa seminar na yun, uh, hindi yun free. We, uh, paid talaga siya, medyo malaking binayad namin. Um, doon ako na, na introduce sa kung ano ba yung freelancing career, no? Ano yung mga ginagawa nila. But during that time, so maybe some of you, uh, na, yung, yung dinaanan ko dati, nandun, yun yung pinagdadaanan nyo ngayon na nakikinig kayo sa akin, pero ang daming tanong sa isip ninyo, ano sinasabi niya? I cannot relate. So, because I was working as an operations manager back then, so more on leadership talaga ako, management of people, um, customer service, yun ang aking trabaho. So, medyo pa bago sa pandinig ko, lahat ng naririnig ko during the training that I attended. So, fast forward, hindi ko na-apply agad. 
no yung natutunan ko doon sa training na yon because um, parang hindi nga ako ano fully fully hearted when I started that training so nagstay pa rin ako sa company until 2018 I actually resigned from that BPO company so ano yon uh, first and long ano first job ko yon tapos yun yung longest kasi almost eight years so year 2018 no um um nagresign na ako no I was thinking, iporso ko na kaya yung training, no? yung uh, natutunan ko from 2016. Kaya lang, uh, when my husband told me na, oh, sumali ka dito, so buong nag-purchase siya ng course, mahal din yung binaya dito sa course na yun, um, it's a social media academy, mag-join daw ako doon. When I was actually like browsing and nagbabasa ako ng mga experiences nila doon, parang wala pa rin yung puso ko. Siguro ito ako naka-move on doon sa employment, um, corporate um, experience ko and Um, dun sa aking managerial experience. No? Parang may ano pa ako, may hangover pa. Hindi ko pa ma-embrace totally na, okay, papasukin ko ba talaga itong freelancing? So, um, hindi ako agad nag-venture into virtual careers. Now, fast forward, so from 2018 to 2020, ito na yun, no? nag-venture ako into different businesses. So, naging negosyante muna ako. So, we ventured into cacao, Um, nagtayo ako ng restaurant, nagtayo din ng milk tea, nag nagkaroon din ng online e-commerce business. So, dinaanan ko muna lahat yung business na yon, and then nag-real estate din ako as agent. No? So, commission-based yung kita namin doon. But during 2019, nung, nung um, kung mga may mga business kami nag-shutdown na, no? and we really need, I really need to support my husband to fund all our finances, no? So, bumalik ako sa employment, no? So, I was with Lamudi. It was a real estate company. Um, Nag-work ako doon as a, a sales uh, trainer muna ako sa Lamudi. And then, after six months, hindi ko kasi nagustuhan yung ugali ng boss ko doon, I transferred to their sister company, which is a pilot company. Realty din siya. Pero startup. I was their first number one employee, first employee nila ako. So nag real estate agent naman ako. But during 2020, no, March, yung nagkaroon na ng pandemic, I can still remember I was sitting down dun sa aming office table when our boss, yung head broker, head broker namin nag-announce na uh, mag-shutdown na kayo ng computer, pinapauwi na ang lahat because magla-lockdown na ang Pilipinas, no? So I was forced No, to pursue my virtual career. Actually, that's that's my reality. No, so but 2016 I was studying it. It's just that hindi ko pa siya embrace fully. So nakita niyo, 'di ba? Ang tagal ng transition ko. It was it took me four years, you know. And then hindi pa yun agad-agad, no, na nakuha ko kagad yung trabaho, no. So nung March 2020, so I was frustrated. Wala pa rin masyado sa isip ko yung virtual careers na to, no. Sa so, parang isip ko Uh, parang kasi nga gusto ko mag, mag real estate no so naghanap ako ng ng partner broker gusto ko magtayo ng company na lang para hindi na magsasara kasi akin na parang ganun yung mindset ko noon so i pursued the home angel realty no so ginawa ko yon um uh, luckily i was able to find a good partner who agreed with my terms no sa partnership sa business and then while doing that syempre kapag startup business No, uh, I know that we have business owner audiences here, and I know that you can relate to me. Hindi naman agad kikita ang company no or ang business. So kailangan if you fuel mo yan, pupuhunan mo, recycle or pa ikot. Excuse me, papa ikot ikot mo lang yung ayong puhunan. So I, I that's the time that I actually thought of what if mag-apply na kaya ako for virtual careers. Bago pa ako nag-apply sa mga agency, nag-try din ako ng online tutor ng English, no, for Chinese students. I know for, I know yung iba kong friends dito sa, ano, dun sa personal account ko, nakikita niyo yung mga posts ko before. But the rate was really small, and na, napagtanto ko, no, <laughs> so Tagalog yun. So, parang I realized na, ah, ang hirap pala maging parang preschool teacher, yung mga bata yung tinuturuan mo, and then like you're using a lot of Like designs, may mga tokano yung may mga stickers kaya na pinapakita and like hindi ko siya forte, you know? So I I I prefer talking to adults. I prefer talking to professionals. Ang hirap pala maging preschool teacher, you no? Know? So parang I I was teaching Chinese students na maliliit pa mga three, five, seven years old yun yung yung market ng ano na yon, ng teaching na yon. So in short, nagquit ako don because I really didn't like. Kaparang uh, kung magana realize ko hindi to para sa akin. 
And then fast forward after uh, I quit um, that English teaching job, nag-apply na ako. So I sent application so inayos ko yung resume ko. Okay, ito isa ito kayong lahat, ba? Diba? You are interested to you are here right now because you are really interested into venturing into this journey. So, lahat ng mga naging failures ko or pinagdaanan ko, isha-share ko sa inyo para hindi nyo nagawin. And for you to make sure that you'll be able to make it quicker or faster. Kaya nyo yun. Okay? So, the first thing I did was I fixed my... So, in-update yung resume ko. Kasi nga, di ba, nag-negosyo ako. So, nag-negosyo ako, hindi ako... Hindi updated yung resume ko. So, nung in-update ko yun, of course, the working experience that I had was only for the BPO industry. So, wala naman akong background for virtual assistant. No? So, wala akong nilagay doon kahit ano. So, I kept on applying and then... 29, imagine. I, f I sent 29 applications for online jobs, but I failed. So, every time na nagsasubmit ako ng resume, after ilang days, sasabihin na may nahanap na sila. Or, naka I think, naka-apat or limang interview ako that time, but they were asking me, ano yung background ko sa virtual, sa pagiging virtual assistant? You know, they get it that I was a manager from BPO, but what is my experience as a virtual assistant? So, in short, dinikline nila ako because of that reason. Ay, ang taas pa ng asking ko sa kanila. Because I came from a high, I mean, a position with a high salary. So, I was expecting the same. no? And to think na hindi naman ako experience sa larangan ng virtual assistant. So, hindi nila ako kinonsider. Until on my 30th, up, before my 30th application. So, actually, ang ginawa ko, so I, I thought of a plan. no? Um, I thought of a plan. Uh, mamaya, I share ko sa next slide. So, I-share ko sa next slide ano yung ginawa kong strategy. But, right now, no, um, these are the brands that I actually worked with. No? Ibig sabihin, tapos na yung kontrata ko sa kanila dito. Uh, but right now, I was working with six current Australian clients no, in partnership with the agency. Itong mga logos dito, ito yung mga tapos na yung kontrata ko. No, so, most of them are business coaches, life coaches. No, binibigyan ko yun ng insight kung ano ba yung mga possible na trabaho sa virtual careers. Pero we will be discussing it on details, um, in details sa uh, slides later on. So, on my 30th application, na-hire ako. So, that's the time that I was given a chance by a, um, a startup agency. Startup din sila. So, parang uh, one year pa lang yata sila nung hinire nila ako. And, um, the offer uh, wasn't really that high, but because I was really desperate to um, biru mo 29 na decline ka, diba? On my 30th, binigyan ako ng chance, in interview ko, uh, nakapasa ako sa initial interview, and then i-endorse na ako sa financial final interview. Sa final interview, uh, so nakapasa na ako, uh, binigyan ako ng chance nung, ano, nung client. Um, when they gave me the rate, when they asked me for my rate, so of course, Inano ko yun, no? Kung ano yung pinaka-most recent rate ko dun sa last corporate job ko. Halos similar dun. But they told me na dun wala nga akong experience of the A career. So, they cannot give that kind of rate that I'm asking. So, I was given lower. Okay? Mamaya, i-discuss ko sa inyo or i-share ko sa inyo bakit isa yun sa mga strategy na pwede nyong gawin para lang makapasok sa industry. Okay. So, ito yung mga brands na nakatrabaho ko. Okay? So, next, ito na. Okay? So, um, sa VA journey ko, no, um, right now, ito yung aking six brands or six clients na currently I'm working with. No? So, I, hindi ko kasi pwedeng ilagay yung specific name for confidentiality purposes. Okay? Um, but the industry, nilagay ko na lang. So, uh, the, full, the, the highest client that I have right now, yung pinakamataas yung working hours ko is... Um, a high-ticket business coach, no? Ibig sabihin, nag-coach siya ng mga millionaires um, in Australia. Um, and then, meron din akong client, a health and wellness coach, international hotel supplier. So, malaki din tong company na to, pero very minimal hours lang yung binigay nila sa akin. Neurolinguistic life coach, videographer business owner, no? So, ano siya, um, sole proprietor siya. Uh, pero sikat na rin siya sa Australia because of the quality of her works. Real estate and home loan company. No, isa rin siya sa malaking clients. Pero minimal pa lang din yung hours na binibigay niya. So, um, ito, isa lang to sa client testimonial. So, siguro parang medyo naguguluhan kayo. So, ano nga ang virtual career? So, bitinin natin ng konti. I-discuss natin yan in details mamaya. 
So, ayan. So, ito isa yun sa sample ng testimonial ng isa kong client na this is actually very, very important. Um, you know, getting social proof from your clients para mas makakuha ka ng mas magandang client in the future. Okay? Hindi discuss natin yan mami na nafe-feel ko, nakikita ko, ang daming question mark sa isip ninyo. So, this is just another client appreciation sample. No? So, um, nag-email yung client dun sa aming agency and ito yung message niya. We've, we have been so happy working with Rose to complete the learning library online. Thank you, Clayton. I sent another email earlier today about the possibility of ongoing work. This was fun and so I appreciated Rose offering to make thumbnails and the care and color coordination you put in Rose. The final step for the learning library is thinking, is linking it to the membership. So, mamaya papakitaan ko kayo ano ba yung mga pinagsasabi ng client dito. Okay, so, and then meron pang isa, no, na mura ka na, pero this fucking awesome naman siya. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ayan, so, kumbaga, these client appreciations are very, very important um, if you are going to create your portfolio in the future. Pag-uusapan natin yan on the next slides. Now, eto na. Okay, so, yun lang, nagpakilala lang muna ako uh, ano yung background ko, what do I currently, what I currently do, ilang clients ang hawak ko ngayon, at sino yung mga naging clients ko na. Okay, so, um, siguro naman, um, kumbaga, legit na tayo no, to run this webinar and para pakinggan tayo ng ating mga audience right now. So, ito na, what is a virtual assistant? No? So, from Google definition, a virtual assistant is generally self-employed and provides professional administrative, technical, or creative assistance to clients remotely from a home office. No? So, pwede nyong i-Google lahat yan. <laughs> okay, for sure, yung iba dyan, nag-aaral na, nag-attend na ng trainings, nabasa na yan. But my definition is different. No? The reason why I'm actually giving you this definition is because I want to set your mindset better. No? So, mas maganda kasi yung onset pa lang when you're um, applying pa lang for this career, no? yung first job ninyo, dapat ito na yung mindset mo. Kasi it brings a different level of confidence, it brings a different level of accountability and proactiveness. No? So, my definition is a virtual assistant. Um, virtual assistants are independent, proactive, and creative individuals who help business owners achieve the path they want for their business while living the life that they truly deserve. So, one of the one of my um, high ticket clients told me, no, na when when he actually hired me, he wanted me to think that as if I am his partner in the business, right? Because if I think as if I'm an employee. I wouldn't be that much proactive. Aminin natin yan. So, at one point in our lives, sa mga audience natin right now na empleyado, uh, as an employee, uh, yes, we can be proactive, but most of the time, we follow directives. No, We react more than we proactively offer solutions. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nun. No? Um, so, that is why this business coach, yung high-ticket business coach ko, sinabi niya na, I want you to think as if I am your partner or you are my partner in this business because I want you to be uh, proactive in providing ideas, recommendations, what will be better for the business. No? Okay, so baka yung iba dyan na, na, ano, na ano ba yan, bakit puro business, no? Hindi ko yung naiintindihan. We'll discuss it later, no? We'll discuss it further. So, okay, mag-alala. Uh, I-explain natin siya in a, in a very simplest way na pwede natin siyang i-discuss. Iinom lang tubig. Okay, so, what does a virtual assistant do? So, ito na, okay? So, these are just, you know, virtual careers is very broad. Napakalawak ng industriya na to. So, I know that we also have professionals right now, like meron tayong mga chemists, teachers, um, ano pa bang meron tayong prof professors, teachers, professors, just the same. Um, so, ano pa mga accountants? So, napakalawak ng virtual career sa totoo lang. So, etong i-discuss ko sa inyo, this is actually more of inclined to the work that I do. Okay? And, um, but you can feel free to like um, explore and learn other types of virtual career, ano, na pwede sa virtual assistant. No? So, 
First is administrative work. No? So, um, admis administrative work uh, is more on scheduling meetings, um, booking travel, organizing calendars, and even answering phones via connecting line. So, if uh, if right now working ka sa BPO industry or um, sa hotel industry ka, or anything that involves communication and organizing calendars, that can be a skill that you can use um, to apply as a virtual assistant. So, ang, ang advice ko sa inyo right now while listening to our training, isipin nyo na, no, um, anong specific skill skill ang meron ako na po pwede kong gamitin para matanggap ako as a virtual assistant. No? Um, next is bookkeeping. So, if we have any accountants here, uh, this is also a very in-demand uh, virtual assistant. So, ito hindi ko to expertise kasi hindi ako pa nag-apply as a bookkeeper. You, you don't need to be an accountant to apply for this um, position. There are actually trainings that you can undergo para matutunan mo ano yung ginagawa. Okay? Um, keep tracking of finances and accounting skills. No, Mga basic na accounting skills po pwede mo yun matutunan. Um... Personal assistant, no? organizing webinars, events, answering queries, making phone calls and emails. So, kung supervisor ka ngayon or manager ka, yung mga ginagawa mong pagsiset up ng meeting, um, pagtitake ng escalation calls, ito magagamit po yun dito, especially yung email, no? exchange of emails, you can do this um, for your client. So, ang mas maganda lang dito, isa lang talaga yung inaatupag mo, which is yung client mo. Okay, next, customer service. Answering calls called calling in sales. Meron din ganito. No? Ito usually mga fixed hours yan sila and usually US-based. No? Um, data entry. Compiling data, checking accuracy, deleting unnecessary records. So, more on mga typing jobs to. Mag-i-input ka ng data, mga Google Sheets, yan ang mga tools na gagamitin mo. For social media management, so this is where most of my work is. No? Kasi, um, no, kung titignan mo, hindi, ang previous work ko, hindi creatives. No? More on leadership management, customer service. Pero gusto ko kasing itry. No? Gusto ko kasing mag-try ng bago na hindi ko pa nagawa before. No? Gan medyo ganun kasi ugali ko. So, I want to uh, try new things. No? So, I tried um, social media management. So, where I create contents, calendars, managing social media accounts and promotional materials. So, kung nakikita ninyo, lahat naman tayo siguro dito, may Facebook, may Instagram, may TikTok, no? may Snapchat, yung iba, may YouTube. No? If you see like promotional videos or photos na dumadaan sa timeline ninyo, yun. No? So, pwedeng mag-hire ang business owners ng gagawa nun. And isa yun sa aking trabaho. Okay? Video editing. So, kung magaling ka naman or mahilig ka sa pag -e edit ng video, no? Uh, pwede, pwede ang trabaho mo dyan, writing scripts, editing raw videos, uploading, and uploading um, and YouTube management. No, ikaw ang gagawa ng, ikaw mag-upload, schedule ng video upload nila. Pag sinabing YouTube management, taga-reply sa mga comments. Um, sa Facebook, pwede rin yun, taga-reply, taga-react. No? So, business owners can also hire people to do that. And yes, no, iniisip siguro ng iba dyan, wala, pwede pa rin trabaho yun. E, ginagawa ko naman yung lagi sa Facebook account ko. Minsan, nag-spend ako ng more than 2 hours scrolling my Facebook. ba? And, yung ginagawa nyo yun, pwede na kayong kumita ng dollars. No? Okay. Kahit part-time lang yan. Okay, next. Copywriting. So, for copywriting, ito yung pinaka malakas kumita no? sa larangan ng uh, freelancing industry. Why? Uh, this is more on... Um, it's a writer job, no? But not a, a basic writer job. You can, you need to write articles, blog for websites, email marketer, no? So yung mga nare-receive ninyo pag nag-sign up kayo sa mga courses and may nare-receive kayo, um, yun, mga email marketer yun, persuasive writer for sales. So pag sa sales kasi talaga, um, because it's an income generating position, mas malaki talaga yung rate na pwede mong i-ask. So this is also one of the tasks that I'm actually heading for. No? Kasi yan yung pwede kang kumita ng six-digit figure. For Facebook Ads Manager, um, dito naman yung magra-run ka ng campaigns on social media accounts such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and on Google. So yung mga ads. 
no kung nari kung ex, ang explanation dito sa mga hindi pa familiar sa terminologies halimbawa di ba napansin niyo ba whenever you like an advertisement halimbawa home um nag-like ka ng motor motorcycle promotional ano posts no makikita mo susunod puro motor na yung lumalabas sa news feed mo napapansin niyo ba yon because it has something to do with the facebook algorithm and tina-target niya yung mga um ko ano yung Uh, tawag ito, niche mo, no? So, yung mga terminologies na yan, magkakaroon tayo ng separate, ano dyan, training. Because I don't want to overwhelm you. This is just the beginning. And siguro yung iba sa inyo, nakapag-attend na ng trainings or nakapag-bumili na ng courses kasi maraming nagbibenta ng courses ngayon, di ba? Na, so, super mura lang. Um, you can take advantage of that, no? So, gusto ko nga explain sa inyo in a very simple way na hindi tayo ma-overwhelm, No? Okay, so ito yung mga tasks no, na, gina na pwedeng gawin as a virtual assistant. Ngayon, siguro yung iba nag-iisip sa inyo, eh, manager na ako ngayon. Sa diba? Yung inisip nyo. Parang, anong, saan ako dyan? No, saan ako papasok dyan? So, huwag kayong mag-alala because when I started, I also felt the same. no. When I was exploring the tasks, siguro the reason why I didn't really pursue it right away is because meron akong in uh, nasa in denial factor pa ako na Uh, nasanay ka kasi nag-manage ng tao, you are in the position, but um, bakit ako mag-ano uh, sa parang pang-soul na trabaho lang, ako lang, no? Pero, believe me, when I've actually experienced working on my own, like just for the client, less stress, halos um, yung kinikita mo dati, same pa, mas malaki pa. So, kumbaga, less stressful yung work, at the same time, mas, mas maganda talaga yung effect niya sa lifestyle mo. Okay? So, Next, how much can you possibly earn as a VA? So, for sure, no, ini, yung iba sa inyo, karamihan sa inyo, especially the moms or the working moms here, possible ba talaga yan? Kaya ba talagang mag, um, kaya, kaya ba talaga maging stable yan para makatulong sa husband ko? Ganyan. No? So, depende sa level ng skills niyo and expertise and experience niyo. So, the, that is why um, the earliest possible time na makapagsimula kayo, simulan niyo na. No, para mag-gain kayo ng experience all throughout, pwede na kayong mag-ask na matataas na rate. So, if you are direct hired by a client, so ito mga per hours yan, pwede mong kitain talaga yan. No, $7.21 to as high as $62.74 per week, um, as low as $288 to as high as $2,510 per week yun ha. Per month, for um, as low as $1,250 to as high as $10,875 and per year from as low as $15,000 to as high as $130,000. Now, if hindi ka pa, ito, ito ang advice ko sa inyo, no? If you are just a beginner in this kind of industry, kailangan mo pang magbuo ng portfolio mo because If you're gonna if you're gonna go straight or dediretso ka agad sa mga clients, mataas ang competition. Kung matanggap ka, diswerte mo, 'di ba? Kasi nabigyan ka ng chance. But because of the um competition, kailangan i-level up mo rin yung game mo. And the reason why I adjust, I I mean I advise the beginners to apply muna sa mga agency is because it's your chance and your opportunity to gather as much as clients as you want. Pwede rin yung naging client mo dyan. Pag nagustuhan ka, pwedeng kunin ka na, ilabas ka na. No? Kung baga, maging direct hire ka na. You know? um, iba rin kasi kapag may agency because uh, may iwasan din yung mga matatakbuhan ka or um, hindi ka mababayaran, especially if it's like contractual. No? Okay, so if you're partner with an agency, how much are you gonna get? So may cut lang talaga sila. No? It's like more of a, really a partnership. Um, but for a beginner, hindi na masama because you are earning at the same time you're studying, you're you're building your profile, you're also growing your knowledge about virtual about this career. Kasi hindi naman lahat yan. Kahit nag-aral ka, nag-training ka sa mga nabili mong PDFs, no? Hindi lahat yan alam mo agad. Sometimes, especially if you are going to enter marketing industry, uh, the social media management, hindi lahat ng rules yan. Um, nangyayari or nasusunod agad minsan trial and error yan to to get the results that you want no so okay so uh, per hour for as low as 170 pesos to 1600 pesos per hour pwede pwede nangyayari talaga yan no per week for from as low as 6800 pesos to as high as 64000 per week imagine 
per week lang yun, isang buwan ng sahod yun ng manager. <laughs> per month, from as low as 27,200 pesos to as high as 256,000 per week. Yan yung mga tipo ng high ticket client copywriter na yan. Per year, from as low as 326,400 pesos to as high as 3,072,000 pesos. No, so imagine, so kaya hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na pag sabi virtual assistant, ay assistant lang yan. Eh ano na ako, director na ako sa company. Tapos magbababa ako agad, magbababa ako sa position ng virtual assistant. No, it's not that. No, so um, if you are a director tapos yung stress level mo 200%, uh, kinikita mo is 200,000 pesos. As compared dun sa, let's say, maging copywriter ka, yun ang i-enhance mo na skill because you're good at writing, you love English, you love writing, no? Kikitain mo yung 200,000, sarili mo lang, ano, wala kang minamanage na tao, no? And hawak mo ba oras mo? Diba? Ang kausap mo lang yung client mo. So, ano mas pipiliin mo? Diba? So, um, itong career na to, wala itong pinipili. No? Regardless of what position you are in right now, let's say director ka na, manager ka na sa, sa corporate, no? um, business owner ka, no? wala itong pinipili na level ng position. So, kumbaga, if you are qualified, and then the client will hire you and they will pay you for your service. Okay? And nakatulong ka pa sa business owners, kumita ka pa. Diba? Okay, so... How do I start my virtual assistant career journey? So how do you start? No, so um, I don't want to overcloud no or like overwhelm you with a lot of things. I just want you to remind uh, to to remember three things. No, three things which I actually applied in my journey. So ito kasi yung ginamit ko at ginawa ko. Kaya siya share ko sa inyo. First is mindset. No, the first thing that you have to um, consider or always remember is your mindset. Ide discuss natin yan isa isa. Second is, of course, the skills. No, the skills. You need to have the skills para mabayaran ka ng gusto mong rate. No, kailangan skilled ka. Okay. And of course, you need to take action. No, you need to take action. So again, I want you to remember these three things. No. Um, how do I start my virtual assistant career? So, siguro yung iba sa inyo, bumili na ng napakaraming, napakaraming materials na overwhelmed na kayo sa dami ng gusto nyong aralin at simulan. I just want you, I just want to remind you that you can start your virtual career with these three things. Mindset, skills, and taking action. So, ano ba yung sinasabi ko? Let's start with the mindset. No? So, with the mindset, you tell yourself that I am ready to unlearn and learn new things. No, isa kasi yun sa pinakamahirap gawin ng tao, especially coming from a high position sa sa dati mong trabaho. No, parang entitled most of the people, entitled. No, alam ko na 'yan. Parang, 'di ba, parang manager na ako, director na ako, pero ako makikinig diyan, 'di ba? Mga ganun, no. So bakit kailangan ko 'yan alamin? So you need if you want to venture into this virtual career, I am telling you, you need to be ready to unlearn and learn new things. Trust me, I experienced that. So coming from an OMOIC who is handling multiple departments, so my ego ka, di ba? My pride ka because you were there, you were on top. But right now, kailangan mong makinig, kailangan mong tumanggap ng feedback na malika, na may opportunity ka pa, and hindi mo pala alam. Diba? I am willing to remove my pride brought by the current hat I'm wearing. So that's why I'm talking about, no? So during the time iniisip ko, negosyante na ako, sabi ko, tapos mag apply ako ng virtual career parang my pride, a little pride, pero hindi 'yun tama. I mean, if you want to really pursue a new career, you're switching career. So parang fresh grad ulit. No, well, hindi naman fresh grad because may may experiences ka na. Meron ka ng skills na dala-dala from your previous working, from your previous work na pwede mong magamit. Dagdagan mo na lang, di ba? Next, I'm excited to learn from the experienced and experts in this industry. So, yung iba sa atin, ako guilty ako dyan before, no? Na, nisip ko, um, because I was an OMOIC before, nisip ko, um, Ano kaya to? Tama ko ba itong sinasabi niya? So especially ito ha, I know, um, I'm, I'm sharing this story because I know we have a lot of BPO um, employees right now na makakarelate. No, di ba tayo medyo ano tayo sa English grammar? No, I, I remember when I attended, hindi ko napapangalanan, one of the seminars and training. So parang yung, syempre, yung tenga natin, sanay tayo sa English accent, sa English grammar na tama. Eh, syempre, may hindi sila 
minsan hindi naman perfect dahil tinuturo nila skills. So minsan nagiging judgmental tayo, no? Na ay, hindi ko na yung pakikinggan kasi parang hindi naman siya maganda magsalita, no? Pero that's a very wrong attitude and behavior. So if you want to venture into this virtual career, you need to make sure that you possess these three types or in this kind of mindset. Okay? So ulitin natin, I am ready to unlearn and learn new things. Okay? Hindi ka lahat magaling, no? Even if director ka na ngayon sa iyong company, even if you're um, a professional engineer, no? Merong magaling sa'yo sa virtual careers. No? Magaling ka sa engineering department o TL ka ngayon, running for OM ka. Magaling ka sa BPO industry pero sa virtual careers, wala ka pang alam. Zero ka pa dun, no? So, you are willing to remove your pride brought by the current hat that you're wearing. And you are excited to learn from the experience and experts in, in this industry. Okay, kasi sila yung naka-experience na makinig ka sa kanila, maghanap ka ng mentor mo. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next thing that I want you to always remember, skills. Oh, sabi, may nag-message sa akin, sabi, uh, kaya ko po ba yun? Parang ang hirap po. No? So, wala namang bagay na hindi naaaral at walang bagay na sa umpisa eh, hirap ka agad. Not unless genius ka talaga na bata no? or na tao. No? So, I want you to assess yourself first. Anong skill lang pwede mong magamit? So, for example, when I started, no, sabi ko medyo okay naman ako sa English. <laughs> okay, pahambol tayo. Medyo okay naman ang English ko and I think I'm good at communications. I think I'm good at writing. I love writing. Um, baka pwede yung magamit ko. And then, medyo may pagka-creative naman ako. <laughs> I know how to look at beautiful things, like ano yung colors na pagpapartnerin at hindi. So, I think pwede ako doon sa ganong klase ng trabaho. No? So, I want you to assess saan yung anong part ng... For example, you, you are a trainer. No? Right now, you are a trainer at uh, the BPO industry. So, you're good at communications. Your, your English grammar is for sure good. Um, you are good also in writing. You can also be creative. So, po, pwede mong maging trabaho, copywriting. Pwede yun. No? Pwede mo yun i-pursue na career. Malaki pa sweldo din doon. Invest more on trainings and mentoring. So, again, even if right now, negosyante ka, meron, kang, meron tayong mga business owners dito na nagmamayari ng mga um, small and medium enterprises, um, you still need to invest more in trainings because Yes, you may be um, knowledgeable about your business, but when it terms to uh, when it comes to marketing and uh, freelancing, maliit pang pa alam natin. So you need to invest more in trainings. Mag-attend kayo eh, kung mayroon pang mga free, kung may mga paid na hindi naman sobrang mahal, or kung afford nyo naman, go attend trainings because that's what I did. Okay, establish your personal brand. So this is very very important. I know that we have a very diversified audience right now. So sa mga business owners, I'm I'm um this is very important, no? Because 'di ba, pag maganda ang brand mo, mas marami kang magiging customer because you are able to establish the trust, no? For our employees naman, ano yung sinasabi ko? Ibig sabihin, 'di ba, 'di ba sa corporate, the way you dress up No, di ba pag may client, kailangan naka-dress up ka or sa office, lapat naging naka-postura ka because you are establishing your brand. It's the same with uh, when you're applying for virtual careers. So, what kind of brand do you want to um, position yourself? No, syempre ba, nag-apply ka ng trabaho online, no? Syempre, hindi ka naman virtual nga to. Hindi ka makikita personal ng kliyente. Wala pong personal or face-to-face -face interview. So, ang basihan lang, yung mukha na nakikita sa sa ganito, sa Zoom, okay? So, you need to make sure that you present yourself very well, no? Make sure na um, you wear proper um, outfit, attire, and maayos ang profile mo sa social media because they will ask for your profile. Um, they will also check yung credentials mo. So, make sure na lahat yan maayos. And of course, you need to promote yourself because virtual assistant or freelancing is like being self-employed. No, negosyo mo to. No, it's it's a business na ino offer mo service mo. Wala kang physical products like sabon, beauty products, or food, or clothing. But what you're offering is your skills. No, um, client, hey client, I know how to write a blog. I know how to write an article. I'm good at creating graphic designs. So can I do that for you? So you you need to promote yourself. Okay? And then last is you need to prepare a room for growth. So you have to make sure that you unlearn 
things that you've learned before, um, be ready for feedback. No, because yun lang yung uh, is the only way for us to grow. No, if we accept that we're not perfect and we don't um, know everything. No, marami pa tayong dapat matutunan. So again, the first one, mindset. Second, skills. Okay, and last is taking actions. Okay, so for taking actions, um, kailangan hindi kasi pwedeng puro plano lang, no? Kasi maa-analysis, paralysis tayo dyan. Walang mangyayari. No, just like what happened to me, di ba? I, I shared my story earlier. I started 2016, but I didn't really pursue because parang wala pa dun yung puso ko. So what I did, um, tumagal ba? Di ba, napilitan ako ng 2020 kasi nga shutdown, lockdown. Siyempre lahat ng companies nag-post ng hiring operations. So saan ka mag-a-apply ngayon? So ang pwede mo lang apply in online jobs. No? So, um, okay. So, attend free and or paid trainings and mentoring like this. No? So, if somebody offered you um, a training, if somebody offered you um, a free webinar, take advantage of that. No? Take advantage of that. Kasi, ito ay, ano, kumbaga, this is gonna be um, an, an additional learning for you na magiging um, beneficial para sa'yo. No? Kailangan, I, uh, I grab mo. Sorry guys na na-distract ako. May dumaan sa ano, likod. Okay. Okay. So, next is create your portfolio. So, this is very, very crucial because again, um, not not only your resume, for virtual careers, um, clients will also ask for your portfolio. Nasaan ang pruweba? Natrabaho mo talaga yan. No? Ginawa mo talaga yan. So, later on, I will teach you or I will share with you my story ba paano ko ginawa yung portfolio ko. Next is create your resume. Simulan mo na. Okay? So, but make sure na dapat sa resume mo, lagyan mo doon ng virtual assistant na experience. Okay? Uh, mama ituturo ko din sa inyo yan. Submit applications and freelancing job application websites, of course, kasi nandun yung ina-applyan mo. Prepare for an initial and final interview. Uh, of course, that's given. Um, this is for the, let's say, we have housewives here na tumatagal na talagang tumigil sa pag-work at plano pa lang mag-comeback career. So, paghandaan nyo yan, mag-mock interview kayo with your husband, with your yayas, or kasi naman ang kaibigan nyo, pwede yun. Create and or sign a contract. So, always make sure, ito pa pala, ang difference kasi kapag diretso ka sa client, ikaw ang gagawa ng kontrata mo. Not unless may ready-made contract si client, no? Pero make sure na basahin nyo maigi, ilang oras ba yung deliverables, ano yung mga tasks na involved, magkano ang single per hour. Okay? Ang um, maganda lang kasi sa agency, sila na nagpe-prepare ng lahat, no? Magtatanong lang sila, Rose, kaya ba ng ganitong rate per hour? Pag sinabi mong hindi, pwede ba ang taasan? Magna-negotiate sila, no? Hanggang sa mag-agree kayo kung magkano ang rate, and then, sisend na lang nila yung contract, magsasign ka na lang. So, that's one of the um, good, uh, I mean, advantages of having an agency na nag-handle sa'yo. Okay. Now, um, so far, natututo ba tayo? So again, we have three, again, the three things that I want you to remind of how to start your virtual career, uh, virtual assistant career. Number one is your mindset. Okay? I-condition mo yung sarili mo kung working ka ngayon, gusto mong subukan mag-part-time. Huwag ka muna mag-resign, ha? Kasi baka sisihin mo ako, nag-resign ka, tapos hindi ka nakakuha ng client. Okay? So, i-try mo muna. Okay? Mag-try muna. Second, skills. No, equip yourself with skills and knowledge. It's very, very important, of course. And take actions. No, hindi yung pagkatapos ng webinar nito. Wala na. Wala na tayong gagawin. So we need to take actions little by little if we really want to pursue this kind of career. Okay. Um, I think uh, we can just take a quick break. No, um, kasi 43 minutes. Magbreak lang tayo na mga two minutes and then babalik ako agad. Okay. See See you in two minutes.
I'm back. <laughs> so, one minute pa lang. So far, hindi naman tayo na overwhelm, no? Because uh, we're not... Um, it, it's more of, um, like, the preparations, the things that you need to know. Wala pa tayo dun sa mismong skills training because it's gonna be a different, ano na, different um, session na yun. Kasi medyo kailangan yun per skill. Okay, so, um, let's move on to the next. Okay? <clears throat> so, I share ko sa inyo, no? So, it's gonna be a very uh, short story lang din. Paano ko talaga siya ginawa? No? Kasi ito, practical ways yung tinuturo ko sa inyo and strategies pa paano nyo talaga sisimulan. So, the power of portfolio. Di ba nabanggit ko kanina, kailangan may portfolio talaga kayo. Because, imagine, I applied, I submitted 29 applications, I was rejected. And on, on the 30th, I was given a chance. Paano ko ginawa yon? Okay? Um, so, when I was getting, you know, I was being declined. So, it was very hurtful in my pride. No? <laughs> you know, operations manager ka sa previous company mo, tapos um, sales associate ka naman sa former, yung most recent company, tapos hindi ka talaga matanggap-tanggap. Um, and I I thought of, I did my research and tinignan ko, ano ba yung dahilan? It's because I'm applying for a, um, a job na wala kong experience. And of course, as a company, as a business owner, they will choose someone who has an experience, no? And especially, napaka high demand ng trabaho na to during the pandemic. So, mas maraming mas magaling sa'yo. No, kahit magaling ka, may mas magaling palagi sa'yo. Yun ang lagi nyong iisipin. So, you need to really step up your game. So, um, I thought of, teka, I think I need to rewrite my resume. I need to update my portfolio because nothing is happening, no? So, parang ilang applications na wala pa rin. So, what I did was I remembered, you know, because I was a business owner, I had this Facebook pages. No, yan, nakikita nyo yan. And I, for sure, for those who know me, Personally, pinag invite ko yung iba dyan sa inyo to like that page, right? So, Laloo's Farm, this is our cacao business. Diba? Very minimal lang yung mga followers nyan. Mga Unta, it's for the restaurant in Davao. T-Bob, yun yung milk tea. Beauty Lane, this is for the e-commerce online products, beauty products. And then, Life Blogs. And the Home Angel, of course. So, lahat niya ng business na yan, nilagay ko yan sa portfolio ko. Sinabi ko, I was the social media manager of these accounts. Well, in fact, isa naman talaga ako sa nagbamanage ng page. And together with my husband. No? So, sabi ko, ilagay ko nga to as uh, because I was applying for a, a virtual assistant and more on the marketing um, marketing career. No? So, you need the proof of your work. No? So, it's very, very important. So, yung, yung iba siguro, so, paano nga, Rose? Kasi wala pa nga akong experience. Mamaya. Sabi ko sa kayo, papano? You need to create your own opportunity. So, ano itong sinasabi kong you need to create your own opportunity? For some of those who know me, nag-create ako ng blogs. Nakita nyo siguro yun before, na pinopromote ko yun. I was actually, I, I spoke with like presidents of the companies and then in-interview ko sa sila, in-upload ko sa YouTube, and then in-upload ko dun sa website. It is actually because of my portfolio. I was establishing my portfolio and of course my brand, my personal brand. But more on, I really want to create this portfolio na kaya kong mag-manage ng website. I know how to upload videos and edit videos on YouTube. I know how to manage social media accounts. And of course, I know how to create email copies and website copies. Pag sinabing copies, yan yung caption. Yung mga phrases, paragraphs na nilalagay mo to promote your, the business. Okay? If you if you will see if if dun sa mga nakafollow sa live blogs nakita nyo dun nag-interview pa ako ng mga stories ng mga small business owners, di ba? May mga YouTuber pa akong ginas dun. All of those things I've actually created and planned out because I want to create a portfolio. Wala akong ano eh, wala naman ako pinanggalingan na virtual assistant. Wala naman nag-hire sa akin. So I need to create an opportunity. No? And you must practice what you've stud studied. No? So, yung lahat ng, ng, ng inaral ko from 2016, in-apply ko yun sa mga businesses namin. No? So, for running ads, Facebook ads, yun yung nakabenta kami sa Home Angel. Um, ano yung mga uh, in-apply pa? Yung mga graphic designs, in-apply ko yun sa Beauty Lane, um, yung sa copywriting, no? So, yung pagsusulat ng blogs na natutunan ko, ginawa ko yun sa live blogs. So, in short, I created my own opportunity so that I can use it as a proof or as a as my portfolio. So, that's how, that's the strategy that I did. So, I don't know 
how others are doing it. Maybe they, they really have background on marketing. Kung meron dito sa inyong graduate naman ng BS Marketing. So, um, I think, I mean, BA is a graduate kayo ng marketing ad and advertisement. Pwede yun. Kasi tapos naman kayo. You have an experience when it comes to marketing. So, um, but for those who are really switching careers, no? Um, like engineers kayo, uh, math teachers kayo, or wala talaga kayong uh, na tagal talaga kayo nag-stop sa, sa, sa career ninyo because kailangan yung mga anak and all that or yung mga business owners natin dito na negosyantes and um, gusto din i-pursue itong career na to you create your own portfolio okay? and doon sa mga business owners natin gamitin nyo yung business na nyo mismo create your page, run your ad, show them your results okay? so some of the tasks that I do for my existing clients. So actually, um, I was thinking of like showing you. Um, okay. So ipapakita ko sana sa inyo yung aking screen. No? Sika. Uh, mabilis lang. Okay. So this is actually um, Canva. No? Um, andale. Dito tayo. Okay. This is Canva. No? I, I cannot show you kasi my, ano, I cannot show you the Canva or the files of my clients for confidentiality purposes. But, um, tingnan ko nga. Okay. Kasi, makikita nyo. <laughs> okay. So, ito na lang. No? So, these are just samples of like graphic materials that I've created for some of my clients. So, this is actually uh, for the, the hotel suppliers. So yeah, naggagawa ko ng design and uh, this is one of the actually the best friend tool of social media marketers, Canva. No, may free trial to. No, so i-download niyo to, Canva, tapos pagpraktisa niyo, no? Kasi kung may mga may mga may paid subscription din naman to para sa pro. Um, and if you really want to pursue this career, bumili na kayo, magbayad na kayo ng subscription. But if you want to just try it out and practice, mag uh, sign up kayo for Canva and then you can use it. Okay? So, ganyan siya, no? Ayan. So, may ipopromote mo yung products. So, may mga rulings yan, no? Kung ano dapat ang font, ano yung ruling sa mga pictures, sa mga borders, sa mga text na hindi dapat magsasapawan, hindi masakit sa mata. So, um, marami yan, no? So, but we cannot discuss everything. You know, I, what I, li I really like about this um, task is that I'm able to really, um, kumbaga, napapractice ko talaga yung creativity ko. You know, the design. So, may times na hindi type ng client mo yung design na gusto mo. Or like, na, na gusto mo. Na ginawa mo. So, it's okay. It's a, it's a room for growth, no? Uh, tanggapin mo yon And iba-iba din kasi ang client. May client na OC na kailang pare-parehas ang font, pare-parehas ang ano, ang text. So, yan yung mga samples. Okay, ito to for home angel kasi to eh. So, sa amin sa business namin yan. But that's how, uh, what I do. So, pwede rin gumawa kayo ng logo. No? This is also one of the um, the tasks that you can also do na ginagawa ko din para sa ibang mga clients. Yung talagang wala pa silang brand. Ay, actually, this is just a temporary logo lang for um, our community. So, may mga templates yan sa Canva. No? Pag tinitignan mo, ay, ang dali lang pala. Um, meron kasing taong magaling sa creative. No? Meron naman talagang hirap pumili ng kulay. Hirap mag-isip ng design. So, kaya nga sa virtual careers, maraming klase, no? So, hahanapin mo saan ka dun fit. Alin dun yung pasok sa skill sets mo, no? At sa mas pwede mong malapit sa puso mo na gawin. Okay? Kasi ako medyo creative naman ako. So, um, I think, I believe that I'm creative. So, eto, pinasok ko yung sa marketing. No? So, for example, I want to create a design, no? Sa dito may mga template dito, no? Nakikita nyo naman siguro. So, halimbawa, may, may business, no? May business na magsas, may pinsan kayo or relative na gusto, gusto magtayo ng restaurant. Tapos, nagtatanong kung gusto kong magpagawa ng logo. No, I, I think meron tayong ganun dito ngayon, eh. May isa tayong audience na ganun. So, uh, po, pwede mong i-offer yung service mo kahit wala ka pang hindi ka bayaran. Kasi kailangan mo lang ng portfolio, no? So, huwag ka munang manghingi ng bayad kasi wala ka pa namang ano, eh. Wala ka pang... Uh, napapa, kumbaga wala ka pang uh, napatunayan or wala ka pang experience. So, sino magbabayad sa'yo? So, di ba? You need to make sure na meron ka munang credentials. So, offer mo yung service mo. Gawa ka na libre. O ito, daw yan. Uh, bawa. Ano mong pangalan? For example, Bayanihan. Kunwari lang yan ha. Baya... 
Nihan. Diba? Okay. O, for example lang, ganyan. O, photography. O, tas ayoko ng kulay. Palitan natin ng kulay. Gawin natin ganito. O, yan. Ay. Hindi <laughs> maganda. Okay. Hindi, parang hindi ko type. Hmm. O, ganyan. So, ito. Pwede na yan. Tapos, download mo lang yan. <coughs> Excuse me. Ayan. Bawa, may nagpagawa ng logo. I-offer mo yung service mo ng free. Diba yung iba nagbabayad pa dyan na sobrang mahal sa graphic designers? May mga guidelines yan na pwede mong... Oh, ayan na. May logo ka na. No? So, that's that's how... Um, you know, it, it, it may seem simple for some, it, it may seem difficult for some, but, you know, itryin nyo. Kasi not unless you try, hindi mo malalaman, ay, type ko pala itong trabaho na to. No? Ay, ito pala, uh, pwede ko pala siyang i-pursue as a career. Okay? So, yan. Basic lang yan. Isa pa sa ginagawa ko, so, aside from, I'm actually creating uh, materials like this, no, for promotional. Uh, yung mga nakita nyo, when, di ba, nag-post ako ng, um, Ito, ako lang gumawa niyan. Uh, I mean, ito, certificate pala yan. Ito, 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 Yan. So, ito, um, ako lang ang gumawa din ito. No? So, this, uh, this is actually a sample design. Very basic lang yan. Um, you know, but there are clients na hindi ko kasi pwedeng pakita yung iba na ano. Um, baka kasi maano tayo. Wait lang. Sige, ito mabilisan lang. <laughs> Pakita ko sa inyo. So, ito itong client ko na to. Very simple lang naman yung gusto niyang gawin sa buhay niya. Ayan. So, ganyan lang siya. Simple lang yung designs na gusto naman niya. So, iba-iba ang clients. So, you just really need to know ano yung um, prefer nila, ano yung ano nila, an, ano yung gusto nila um, sa design, ano yung feel na gusto nila. Yan. So, gumagawa din ako ng e-book. Flyers. Yan. Isa yan kasi ginagawa ko. So, ito. Ginawa ko yan. So, ako nag-iisip ng design. Merong mga templates naman ng Canva. But you just, of course, you have to like uh, reposition, rearrange, change the colors, change the font. They also have a branding font na specific dapat na yun yung gagamitin mo. So, marami yan. No? Hindi natin madidiscuss kasi yan lahat. Ngayon. This is also one of the tasks that I'm doing. So this is a CRM tool, no? Uh, a Mailchimp, no? Pwede um, similar yan sa kung narinig yung Kajabi. So dito ginagamit ginagawa yung mga marketing campaigns. So for example, ito. Uh, I, I was the one who wrote this. Um sin send out to for the client. Sin send out to dun sa clients ng mga clients ko, no? So Ayan. So, itong copy na to, yan yung na email copy. Ako nagsusulat niyan. Binibigyan nila ako ng pictures. Tapos, may link dyan, buy now. Ayan. Ako yung gumagawa niyan. No? Sila nagbibigay ng pictures. Pero yung writing, ako yon, Okay? So, yun yung, ang tawag naman dito, email marketing campaign. No? So, um, iba-iba kasi yan. So, marami pa yan. Hindi na natin mapapakita lahat. Isa pa sa trabaho na ginagawa ko, website naman. No? So, WordPress. Ito, actually, this task is one of the most hated tasks no? for me. Ayoko talaga ng website because logic is not really my strength. <laughs> hindi talaga ako magaling sa logic. So, may mga ano kasi na hindi ko naiintindihan. Um, especially, hindi ako talaga ako ganung kateki. No? Um, kung sa pagdating sa pagiging teki, si husband talagang mas teki siya no? to the IT level. Binuyo ko yun ng ano ha, kasi baka meron tayong audience dito na sasabihin, ko hindi ko kaya yan kasi Facebook pa nga lang, nalilito na ako. No, you can learn everything. No, I'm telling you, you can learn everything. No, eto iniyakan ko to. I will never forget. Iniyakan ko tong trabaho na to. My husband was laughing at me. Anong iniiyak-iyak mo dyan? Sabi ko, hindi ko na to kaya. Kasi nga, ang daming buttons. Guys, nalilito ako dito every... I don't know. It's not really my strength, but you know as time goes by, na ano ko na siya, okay na lang din, parang gano'n. <laughs> okay, so, eto, ang ginagawa ko naman dito, nag update ako ng photos, videos, tapos, eto lang yung medyo challenging dito sa trabaho nito, because ikaw yung mag kung ano yung itsura, ano yung content, not unless, yung client mo, may specific format siya, na gusto niyang gawin para sa website niya. Nagkataon itong client ko na to, kaya, 
medyo na-stress talaga ako ng bongga because wala siyang binigay na kahit ano, na, I mean, na, na format. I was, you know, he, she asked me to do, bahala ka na, parang ganun. I, I just want this, I just want, I want to see this programs, I want to see this type of content na lumabas sa website. No? So actually, hindi ko pa nga tapos yung ibang tasks ko dito sa website, ng website update na to. Um, pinapakita ko lang sa inyo no kung ano yung klase ng possible na maging trabaho para at least magkaroon kayo ng idea ay parang wait, techie ako, medyo IT ano ako, expert pa ganung level. Parang gusto ko yon yung nag update ng website or nagpo-programming. Ayan. So, eto siya. Um, okay. Maglalog. Okay. Okay, balik tayo. Nako din ko na pala yan, John. Okay. So, yon So, um, teka, punta tayo sa page. Dali. Tapakita ko sa inyo kasi. Uh, halimbawa na lang ito. Ano ito about? So, ito, itong client na to, medyo nahirapan ako sa kanya kasi ito yung siya, um, neuro-linguistic client ko na medyo challenge talaga ako kasi medyo, uh, yung level ng vocabulary niya when it comes to life coaching, medyo scientific. I'm not really familiar with it, but inaral ko talaga siya. Kaya nga, para na rin ako naging life coach, business coach, slash lahat na. Ayan. So, yan. Itong mga ganito, ikaw mag-iisip niyan, tapos isasuggest mo sa kanila kung maganda ba yun or hindi, or um, ikaw mag-feedback sa kanila. So, that's it, no? Yun yung ano, yun yung pwede ninyong balik na tayo sa ating ano, balik na tayo sa ating presentation. Okay. Um, tala. Okay. Balik na tayo. So, yun yung mga tasks na ginagawa ko for my client. No, marami pa yun. No, hindi, hindi ko lang maipakita yung iba kasi medyo confidential na yung iba. So, um, the contents, nagkakreate din ako ng e-book. No, you know what e-book is? Yung electronic books. No, meron akong, yung sa high ticket client ko ngayon, kung nakikita yung mga post ko na nagpupunta ako sa coffee shop, lumalabas ako because, um, uh, kailangan ko mag-isip, kailangan ko ng space to think. So, I'm, I'm sharing with you the reality, ha? Kasi, uh, maybe for some of the training, trainings na na-attendan nyo na, pinapakita yung mismong skill sets, no? Uh, magkakaroon tayo ng ibang training for that. So, yun yun. Okay, so what is my biggest why for pursuing this career? No? Ano nga ba yung reason? Bakit ko pinupurs, ba't ko to pinursu? Why did I left um, a good um, career from the BPO industry? No, kasi nandun na ako. No, kumbaga, uh, if you want to uh, climb the vertical ladder of the corporation, kayang kaya. But why? It's because I want the freedom of managing my time and living my life. No? Um, isa kasi sa, sabi ko nga sa asawa ko before, uh, isa lang pangarap ko matulog ng gabi. Ang babaw, ba? Matulog ng gabi, manood ng teleserye sa gabi, pag may chance. And kapag may mga birthdays, events, hindi pa hirapan sa leave. No? Kasi nga sa BPO on this day, saludo po ako sa lahat ng nagstay pa. And we have a lot of BPO, um, fellow BPO heroes na nandito ngayon sa ating audience. Saludo po ako sa inyo, napakahirap talaga. And one of the thing is, uh, yun nga ang daming sakit na na-generate na, 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 na nakuha ko because of the lifestyle that I had before and it was very stressful for me so this is my biggest why I know that every one of you each and every one of you you have your own reason why you are here right now listening to me talking and spending your ano, uh, your precious time no on a Sunday evening I mean Saturday evening nakikinig kayo sa akin no? You have your own reason. So, wag niyong sayangin tong training na to. Wag niyong sayangin yung chance na uh, matry niyo yung uh, mga opportunities and uh, ma-explore niyo yung career na to. So, even if you're working right now, maybe um, super exhausted na kayo sa work niyo or may uh, gusto kayong bago lang, no? Parang, parang hindi naman robotic yung life niyo. You just want to try things new. You you can do this part-time. My husband is um, a head... Um, head of engineering na siya. No? So, boss na siya sa kanilang company. But, uh, it's a very stressful job as well. And he also wants to transition to bookkeeping and video editing. No, Imagine, engineer na siya, license siya. Dalawa license niya. But she, he wanted to uh, also 
uh, pursue virtual career kasi nga um, mas maganda yung quality ng life so right now hindi pa siya maka fully transition because of course he is the head of the family so kailangan um, stable ang kanyang um, kumbaga stable ang kanyang income muna so and stable yung career na lilipatan niya so right now nagpa part time siya so nagpa part time siya 20 hours a week for um, I think American client yon kaya pero ano siya flex din siya so um, he can actually play around with the time and then meron din siyang isa pang local client na beauty products then uh, sa BGC yung office niya very minimal hours lang din pero kahit alam mo yung pa- napakaliit lang ng kinikita it's because he's actually building his portfolio now you know you you get what I mean so if you're currently an employee right now and Wag muna kayo agad mag-resign, okay? You establish first your career dito, paunti-unti. Do this part-time hanggang sa makakuha kayo ng one-time, big-time na client na kaya ng tapatan yung inyong um, salary. So, parang sa business din yan. Okay? So, I hope may ano kayo ha. So, eto, may natututunan kayo. So, you can work from home or anywhere. So, this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to really pursue this career. Because I... Ano, sa lahat na nakakakilala sa akin personally, um, matagal ko lang gusto mag-baby, but I want to really make sure that I am financially stable. And because I'm um, actually supporting my dad uh, for his medicines and, and all, gusto ko rin may sarili akong pera. And that's why before I actually um, push myself to become a mom, kailangan may establish virtual career na ako in business. And I'm happy that I've actually, I can say, I've achieved that na. Okay, so... Ayan, um, this is one of my success story, you know, and I'm very, very proud. She is my sister-in-law. I, I believe she's actually um, one, one of you right now in the audience. So, my sister, Shaila. <laughs> my sister, Shaila, no? CCC. No? She's actually a full-time mom to my very beautiful pamangkins, 3, 4, and 7 years old. So, mahirap maging full-time mom, no? Ang hirap, alam ko yan. Kahit di pa ako nanay. <laughs> Mahirap maglinis ng bahay, maglaba, and all that. Um, she's also working as a real estate salesperson sa aming realty. So, uh, sideline din niya yun. And she also own her ticketing agency. No? Online din siya nagbebenta ng tickets. Um, but she actually, I really pushed her to um, venture in this career. Kasi nga, ito, fixed income to. Pag sa negosyo kasi, di ba... Um, minsan may ups and downs talaga ang business. So, ito kasi may fixed income to at least makakasustain ng family. So, I actually mentored her for um, almost 6 months yon, no? Um, so, ito, testimonial niya lang to. So, how did Rose help you in starting your VA career? So, ang dati niyang work, bago siya naging asawa ng brother ko, she's a um, security guard siya sa BPO company, no? Doon sila, doon nag-start ang kanilang love story. Ayan. So, since Rose helped me a lot as my mentor because she pushed me and inspired me to enter this VA career, I became confident to communicate with clients, improve my communication, planning, and scheduling skills. She hired me as her VA for one of her online business, The Beauty Lane, for six months, where she trained me how to do graphic designing and do social media marketing. She didn't let me go until I get my first client. And now that I'm managing two local clients, beauty salon and swimsuit apparel, she is still there to support and guide me. So, ang ginawa ko kasi kay Sister Shaila, um, dahil nga medyo kailan pa namin i-work yung confidence niya when it comes to like dealing with international clients, sabi ko, sige, mag-local clients muna tayo. Hahanapan kita ng clients. And good thing is, because I have a network of business owners, um, uh, meron akong mga nakilala pa way back pa 2016 mahilig na kasi talaga ako mag-attend ng mga business conference because of my entrepreneurial journey so dun ko nakilala yung salon owner na yon dati siyang OFW pinakilala ko kay Shaila and then she was hired as a VA because uh, I referred her to I referred her so kung magayong tiwala ng business owner nandun na but of course I made sure I trained her <laughs> Okay, so how did you prepare for this career? Aside from being mentored by Sis Rose, I also attended free trainings and also watched tutorials on YouTube. I also joined VA Facebook groups so to learn more from other VA so I can become more effective in my career. So, ang ginawa ko sa kanya, uh, hinar ko siya as a VA dun sa Beauty Lane products kasi nga, wala na akong time gumawa ng materials, wala na akong time mag-picture, wala na akong time mag-post sa ang pinag-manage ko noon, no? 
Do talaga challenge kami the time because walang masyadong gustong magpaganda because nga pandemic lockdown naman. So, um, but you know, she really, I paid her um, while she's learning at the same time. So, yun yung naging portfolio niya. And then I told her, nagamitin din niya yung kanyang Home Angel Realty and yung ticketing agency niya as her portfolio. So, again, gawan mo ng paraan kung gusto mo talagang may gusto ka ma-achieve. Okay, so how did freelancing change her life? No, As a freelancer, I'm no longer solely dependent on my husband for my personal needs. Now I'm able to help him in our finances while doing my duties as a stay-at-home wife and mom. I am able to attain a healthier work-life balance because I can still find time to exercise before wearing all my working hats. No, Kasi tatlo yung anak na inaalagaan niya. Online school pa yung si ate, yung panganay. It is also good to build a relationship with my client because I also learn a lot from her. She's also very generous by giving me free facials at her salon once in a while. Sana all. No? Sana all may libreng facial. <laughs> Hi, sister. <laughs> Freelancing is an awesome career. No? So, ito talagang career na to. Again, uh, maganda talaga to for... Actually, this is for everyone, but um, mostly sa mga maraming ganap sa buhay. No? So, breadwinner ka, marami kang gustong bilhen, no? Siyempre, sa corporate, di naman agad-agad nagpo-promote, nag-increase ng salary, and agad-agad na po-promote. So, po, pwede kang kumita ng additional income on the side while doing this. And kung mami ka naman, siyempre, gusto mo din bumili ng mag-shopping for like home bodies, di ba? <laughs> sa Shopee and Lazada. Ano, gusto mo may sarili ka pera na hindi ka nakakwestiyon ni Mr. di ba? <laughs> Ayun, so maganda rin yung meron ka talagang sarili mong income, no? Um doon naman sa ating mga career moms na nandito na uh, nagtsatsaga talaga sila mag-work graveyard, lahat ng stress talagang nilalaban nila para sa kanilang mga anak. If you are able to become successful in this career. Pwede ka na mag-transition na any time of the day, gusto mong matulog, gusto mong mamasya, lumabas, dala mo lang yung laptop mo, mag-work ka na sa labas. Okay. You know what? I have a story, another story that I hope I can inspire you. When I started, dahil nga naganda lugi-lugi yung negosyo, di ba? When I started, I, don't, I can't afford to buy um, a, a good laptop. Kasi nga, lahat ng pera ko na doon sa negosyo, naganda lugi. Di ba? So, ayaw na naman mag-load. So, Um, ginamit ko muna for one year yung aking um, laptop. Maganda naman yon A3. Um, maganda naman yung laptop. Chinaga ko yon Pero, kumbaga, it's not about the resources. No? Kung ano yung meron ka ngayon, gamitin mo, sabi mo, TL or Rose, sis. Kung ano man tawag nyo sa akin. Mentor. <laughs> ano man. Rose, wala kaming laptop. Paano kaya yun? Pwede ka muna mag-practice using your phone. Oh, pero doon sa ating mga audience na wala talagang laptop or medyo nag-iipon pa. Oh, phone muna, gawa-gawa kayo ng mga Canva, writing, gawa muna kayo. Practicein nyo lang muna yung skills. And then, slowly, kung makaipon kayo in one month, two month, three months time, and it's the time na bumili na kayo ng laptop and then mag-apply na kayo. Kasi it's also one of the requirements pala, guys. It's also one of the requirements. Also, for the, yung mga BPO agents natin dito na nag-work from home, eh, syempre, hindi nyo naman pwedeng download na ng ibang app yan, di ba? Kasi mamamonitor ng company ninyo. Uh, that's as far as I know. So, pwede muna yung cellphone nyo muna, kung meron kayo, uh, mag-download lang kayo ng Canva, gawa kayo ng materials, or kung ano man yung skill na gusto nyo i doon. So, I, I encourage, you know, aside from this mentoring that you're gonna get from me, you explore other materials. Marami pong nagbebenta ng mga virtual assistant career courses. Um, and if you want to know, like, my questions kayo, pwede po kayo magpa-mentor sa akin, no? I think, I believe, meron din nag offer ng ibang mentoring sessions, no? Ang, ang edge ko lang siguro sa iba is because itong tinuturo ko sa inyo, ito talaga yung dinaanan ko at ginawa ko uh, para maging possible yung, yung success na meron ako sa career na to. Okay? Ngayon, okay, so... If if Sister Shiloh was able to make it, you can make it too. No? Um, baka sabi nyo, naku, Rose, hindi ako magaling sa English. Medyo nahihiya ako para sa ating mga non-BPO audiences dito. No, you can make it. Hindi Kung hindi ka pang foreign market, hindi ka pa ready, I can help you um, find local business owners. No, Kahit pa 2 hours, 2 hours a week lang yan na racket no? or side hustle. Again, Um, this virtual career is more for side hustle, but if you want to do it full time, because I'm doing it full time, um, pwedeng pwede, no? So pwedeng pwede. So kung bagang ang sinishare ko lang sa inyo, aside from the corporate industry, aside from being an employee, you can also achieve financial success when it comes to virtual careers. So, marami kayong 
mag-join kayo dun sa, kung member kayo ng home bodies, marami dong mga virtual um, or work from home na mga employees or self-employed or freelancers na magaganda na talaga ang kanilang bahay and they've achieved their financial stability because of this career, no? Okay. So how to get started, no? So ito, this is actually this webinar was just by uh, by accident, no? Because nga sabi ko, kahit post ko may nagtatanong, paano ba yung virtual assistant career na yan? So that's a dami ninyong nagtatanong, napagod na ako sumagot isa-isa. Sabi ko, mag-run na lang ako ng free webinar. But, you know, I don't want to just stop. I don't want to just stop on giving this free webinar, no? Because I know na yung iba sa inyo, maybe yung iba sa inyo nag explore lang, pero yung iba sa inyo talagang decidido na kumita talaga through this career, just like what I'm doing right now. I mean, ngayon kasi kumikita talaga ako because of this career. Now, I'm, I'm very much willing to do a mentoring program, but I hope you understand that, of course, I am going to give or a lot some time, no? Is squeeze in natin ito sa ating oras, um, aside from managing the business and doing my virtual career um, tasks, para matulungan ko din kayo na ma-achieve din yung goal niyo, just like what I did for my sister-in-law, Shaila. So, um, this is a virtual assistant career mentoring program. So, hindi na ako magbebenta ng course sa ngayon, no? So, kung mag hindi ko kayo offeran ng course, because there are a lot of courses available out there na murang-mura lang talaga. But this program instead is a totality, no? So, what can you get from this program? Virtual careers blueprint. So, dito na nakalagay yung mga skills, no? Yung mga formulas na kailangan yung gawin for doing graphics, for writing, uh, for doing copywriting, for doing blogs, um, sa bookkeeping, pwede rin ako magdagdag dyan, no? Kasi si husband, nagtitrain siya, no? So, may materials din kami dyan. All-in-one na yon, Blueprint na yon. Mamili ka na lang kung ano talaga yung sa tingin mo um, papasok sa taste mo at sa skill set mo. No, sa, sa, sa virtual careers blueprint na yan, meron ako dyan i-include na ganitong recording kung paano gagawin. Okay? And then, what else? Discounted VA skill training program. So, ibig sabihin, kung in the future, meron akong advanced copywriting training course na isi-sell or like i-offer recommend sa inyo, instead of getting it for full price, half of the price na lang siya. No? So, kumbaga, discounted na siya kasi menti ko na kayo. Okay? And then, one-on-one -on -one virtual coaching session twice a month. No? So, um, I don't wanna take too much of your time and of course, I'm also managing my time. At least twice a month tayo mag-uusap. No, kung ano yung progress ninyo, kung ano yung ginagawa ninyo para uh, masakatuparan ninyo or ma-fulfill ninyo itong klaseng career na to. And then of course, ito yung, I, I'm not sure if other coaches are offering this. But this is, I think, one of the edge. Kasi I have my business networks here in our community. Not only that, but I also have a lot of business connections. Um, I will be giving you 20 hours OJT. 20 hours OJT to be completed in one month to help you create your portfolio. Di ba nabanggit ko kanina how important portfolio is? Kasi nga ako gumawa ko ng sarili kong portfolio on my own, using my own businesses. That's why I got hired. Okay? Sa inyo, talagang ipapartner ko kayo with business owners. So I will be the mediator. I'm gonna give you materials or tasks to do so that you can create your profile and pwede silang magbigay ng testimonials para meron kayong pang front sa inyong mga international clients. O, ba? Exciting yon. Walang ganong nag-offer sa akin dati. Kung, kung meron lang, ginrub ko na yon. Okay? Mentoring and guidance until you get hired by an agency or until you get your very first client contract. So, it doesn't mean na pag natapos na yung OJT, hindi ko na kayo papansinin. Okay? You can always come back to me and ask questions. If kaya nating sagutin, sasagutin natin. Okay? So, private Facebook group for all the enrollees as a support group in pursuing this career journey. So, I'm gonna create a Facebook group kung nasaan lahat ng ating mag -e enroll ay nandoon. Para support system, no? Um, maganda kasi may support system. Aside from you joining other Facebook groups, meron kayong closed systems, no? And if ever in the future, um, magtayo na ako ng sarili kong agency, pa pwede ko rin kayong kunin or bigyan pasahan ng racket or ng hustle, side hustle, okay? So, how much is this? So, this actually, um, this program will begin on July 11. Okay? Uh, because I need to prepare all, everything um, for, for, um, for, to make sure na uh, valuable ang makukuha ninyo sa akin, no? 
uh, the program price is actually for 2,999. Kasi kasama na mentoring dyan, may OJT pa, diretso yan from business owners. So, hindi lahat ng nag-offer ng course may ganung access. The only advantage is, meron akong connections ng business owners. May network ako, kumbaga. And then, um, if you will take advantage of the early bird price, and you that's if you sign up within the 24 hours, bagsak presyo na, 1.5 na lang. No? Imagine that 1.5 Meron ka ng blueprint for virtual careers. May mentoring ka na sa akin one-on-one. -on -one. Meron ka pang OJT from talagang legit business owners na pwede mong gamitin for your portfolio. And I'm gonna teach you everything that I know para ma-hire ka din sa isang agency or makakuha ka ng personal client mo. Okay? So, kung sa tingin nyo, um, this is something that you really wanna pursue. Walang sapilitan po ito, ha? Again, um... Of course, I want to help you, but I cannot give everything out for free, no? Kasi, syempre, I'm also consuming some of my time. And I really want to, you know, help some of you na talagang, or all of you, kung talagang gusto nyong i-pursue itong career na to. But I'm only accepting now first 20 enrollees, no? Kung makasama kayo sa first 20, go. Kung hindi, sa next na lang tayo, kung magkakaroon tayo ng... Next, hindi ko pa masabi kung anong buwan pa yun. No, because of course, I need to manage everything on my plate right now. So, if you are really interested to pursuing this, let's take action. Rem remember the three things that I want you to remember. The mindset, the skills, and of course, taking action. So, ito na yun. This is one of the actions that I want you to take, no? Just for 1,500. If you join within 24 hours, isend you lang sa akin through Gcash. Make sure you send the receipt via email para may proof of uh, payment tayo or via Facebook Messenger. Message me on this uh, Facebook account sa mga nakakakilala sa akin personally. Chat nyo lang ako. Kung doon naman sa mga hindi tayo personal na magkakilala, you can send me an email or sa Messenger na lang din. Okay? So, again, um, the promo is only within 24 hours. So, since it's 6 p.m. tonight, until 6 p.m. lang yan kinabukasan. And only the first 20 enrollees. So, pag lumampas na ng 20, i-refund ko na lang yung... Or sasabihan ko kayo kung ano. Kaya, uh, kung hindi na ako magtatanggap. Kasi hindi ko na kaya ng past 20 enrollees. Uh, we have a total of 90... As of earlier, 92 registrants. No? Hindi ko alam kung nadagdagan pa yon At kung uh, lahat kayo nag-attend... No, um, first 20 lang po talaga ang kaya natin i-accommodate. Sa susunod na lang din yung iba. Okay? So yon. So um I I want to thank you everyone for attending this and this free webinar and I I really want to congratulate you because you know, um spending minutes of your time and hours of your time here listening to me, um you know, it's something that, you know, it's a good step, no, para uh, simulan ninyo tong career na to no ano man yung reason ninyo maybe you have a future travel that you wanna you wanna uh, pursue or meron kayong business na gustong simulan or anything gusto niyo kumuha ng bahay ng kotse and you think your current salary is not isn't enough or yung business niyo medyo up down up down ng sales and you really need a fixed income lahat kayo pwede pwede kayo dito no so Kung medyo hindi nyo pa alam ko ano yung specific skill set nyo, pag-usapan natin yan sa one-on-one -on -one coaching session. So, I can help you identify sa ang magaling, ano yung dapat mo i-pursue. No, again, magkakaroon tayo ng, dun sa ating mga magjo-join, magkakaroon ng, um, magkakaroon tayo ng, natal dito, virtual career blueprint. No, may blueprint na kasama yun. So, take a screenshot of this. If ever you um, want to pursue virtual assistant career mentoring program, Feel free to message me and um, we can begin on July 11. So, I hope may natutunan kayo dito. Hindi ko pasensya na kayo, hindi natin kayang pagkasahin. Lahat ng learnings, lahat ng skills per ano, per per skill set, no? Kasi hindi kasha na sa oras and mau-overwhelm na kayo. Uh, but I hope you remember three things. Again, mindset, skills, and taking actions. Okay? Um, that's it for this evening. Again, thank you, thank you so much for um, joining me in this webinar. And I hope to meet you in, in person and see you in person. And um, tatapusin ko lang tong video recording and then mag-uusap tayo via Google Meet. Doon kayo magtanong ng questions ninyo. Okay? Iba, isesend ko na lang din to. And if ever you have any questions about this program, Pwede nyo rin itanong via this. Pero mamimili lang kami ng questions. If you don't wanna talk online, wala naman kayong questions, pwede nyo i-type na lang din. Okay, so see you inside Google Meet and then let's talk there. 
Okay, thank you everyone.